wide open on this play. Runs the slant pattern. No one's around him in your screen right there. Where are the Philadelphia defenders? No one's going to touch him as he goes in for the touchdown, but when you've got a guy that's that big, you've got to find linebackers blitzing creates a great hole inside, but Troy Vincent, just as Mark was saying, didn't get his hands on Jake Reed. He just gave a little outside move, comes underneath. That big 6-3 target catches a slant and outruns. That was in week two. Vincent up to bump and run. to the outside little hit right here just going to take it to the post pattern and it's tough for troy vincent what do you do do you stay behind him and he's gonna he's gonna catch johnson with play action Flips it out. Oh, boy. and it's tough for a defender to pick this up here you're gonna see bobby taylor's back's turned but there's chris carter he's keeping his eye on the ball and he brings it in for the reception you know he, he makes the routine catches and then he makes these unusual catches routinely Especially when it goes off the defender's shoulder. And he is now four. He's trying to reclaim the lead. Carter in motion. Johnson into the flat to Smith. At the five. Him. Three yard catch and run to Jake Reed. Two big plays tonight. One of 48, one of 33. Patient, patient Brad Johnson. Finds Robert Smith in the corner. And then from the three yards in, it's, this is 100% effort. He knows exactly. Second down and 15. Deep left side for Reed. That's going to be a first down. And they have been of the large variety. Charles Dimery, 98 yards on those three catches. A couple of, and then this is the outside route. We've seen him run a slant, kind of a post, and the out route. Again, he is now not just another. Blitz. Johnson, right side, man on Chris Carter, but Jake Reed's having a big night. Not only that, Pat, I'll tell you what, this offense is able to pick up the blitz. Philadelphia's coming. He just either just out rebounds him. He Two yards. Here come the Packers. But he hangs in the pocket. And the pass is caught by Reed at the 45. First big 6'3, about 220 pounds. Plays off Tyrone Williams. He uses his height. A great reception. And Dennis reports. The man can flat out coach. Third down and three. And it's caught at the 30 yard line. By you got three receivers to this side of the field, all locked up in single coverage. Both the safeties are deep. And Walsh, the most per square inch yard. Down there. First and 10 from the 22 yard line. Johnson pressured by Dotson. Goes to Carter. And Chris Carter fixes the team in receptions. He hasn't been getting into the game as much as he would like. Ripping. Carter and Reed have each been limited to one catch. Now Chris makes his second league a year ago. Third down, four. Johnson throws. Carter makes the grab. And the sack. Boy, now that's getting after it and staying with it by Seth Jordan. Second and 15. Here he comes again. This time Palmer picks him up and Johnson throws low. And each other. Well, he did a nice job of putting his, like a mighty good job by Chris Carter of keeping mm. that ball off the turf. That, those are his hands. Let's go back at the start of this drive when they're down by Palmer, spins all the way around the field before the ball got there. Exactly. Johnson is 0 for his last six, and he gets 
this off the first and ten from the 26 yard line. Gunned over the middle, caught by Jake Reed, who's been pretty quiet for the last. Here's Tyrone Williams. And now he'll pick up on the inside Eugene Robinson. It looks like he got a shot stomach. Did he land on the ball? No, I don't know. I think he took a shot from the elbow of Tyrone Williams. Right there. But Chris Walsh comes in for Reed from the 44-yard line. Three minutes to play in the period. Carter makes the catch. And the Here comes from the inside. Get man coverage on it. And you got Butler. Pulled it down. Third and 16. They have to get it to the 21 to convert. Inside the 30, and he's five yards. Second and 10 from the 23. That's caught by Pollard. They go with Port. They go for two with 3.30 to go, and then we'll see an onside kick next. And Randall looking for the deuce. And Carter makes it. This is no routine play. He's got Mike Pryor all over him, and, <laughs> and a good touch by Randall to get it up there. He just hung it up there. And like looking fruit off a tree. That's that and and catching that ball with one hand and making sure that he gets them both down. Again, having a remarkable year, averaging over six yards a carry for the Lions. Number two is Cunningham Wait. goes back and hits Glover. Inside linebackers blitzing creates a great hole inside, but Troy Vincent, just as Mark was saying, didn't get his hands on Jake Reed. He just gave a little outside move, comes underneath that big 6 3 target, catches a slant, and outruns. Little hit right here, just going to take it to the post pattern, and it's tough for Troy Vincent. What do you do? Do you stay behind him, and he's going to he's going to catch your ball? Johnson with play action, flips it out. Oh boy! Johnson, and it's tough for a defender to pick this up. Here you're going to see Bobby Taylor's back's turned, but there's Chris Carter. He's keeping his eye on the ball, and he brings it in for the reception. You know, he, he makes the routine catches, and then he makes these unusual catches routinely. Especially when it goes off the defender's shoulder. And he is now four catches away. Catch and run to Jake Reed. Two big plays tonight. One of 48, one of 33. Patient, patient Brad Johnson. Finds Robert Smith in the corner. And then from the first and 20. And here's a quick. Deep left side for Reed. Going to be a first game. and they have been of a large variety. Charles Dimery, 98 yards on those three catches. A couple of inside route. We've seen him run a slant, kind of a post, and the out route. Again, he is now not just another receiver. He's a blitz. Johnson, right side, man. Jake, great job on Chris Carter. But Jake Reed's having a big night. Not only that, Pat. I'll tell you what. This offense is able to pick up the blitz. Philadelphia's coming with. He just, he just outreach. 
Coming back to throw, fires outside, complete to Chris Carter. Now Jake Reed. You just look at the size of these wide receivers, and and they're like, you know, you're six foot three and 220 pounds. And even Dennis Green said last night. We'll tell you more about it. That's Chris Carter on the move, and Johnson back to throw. Carter slipped a little bit. Cut it up big, so they had to take it outside. Three wide receivers, third and five. Johnson outside. Jake Reed, zone, that was it. One elbow doesn't equal anything. No. Jake Reed, juggle. Reed, he's so big here that he's tough to bump. You see, you come and you bump him, and, and, then, and then he can give you a move, or he can run right through you. And then when he does catch the ball, he's still no bargain when you go after to tackle right. him. Watch out. He right kind of bobbled out. It was behind him. And it's from Minnesota. Brad Johnson looked right. Gets one of the receivers. No running back. Touchdown to, Carter, to Chris. You're going to see Chris Carter, and he's just going to come in. They have three wide receivers on this side. Chris Carter just comes right in here in a slant, and, and he's covered prior. From Johnson to Carter. 31-14. Brad Johnson has Robert Smith deep. Fakes the handoff to him. Fires incomplete. Flag in the end. We're talking about Jake Reed, you know, being such a big, strong guy. And we're talking about Carter being a big target in the end zone. So is Jake Reed. But when you're big and strong, these are the kind yep. of plays into that. And then, boom, the Packers took over from that point on. Johnson throws. Pass complete. Jake Reed. Williams, here's Jake Reed. He will run this all day long. And if they don't give Williams any help, and again, it's just a guessing thing, he can hit that thing, and, and Brad Johnson will hit. Brad Johnson, the Packers blitz. Johnson fires. Carter. Second down and 10. It's probably the fastest guy. The only other guy would be Randy Moss. Second down and 10, and Cunningham launches one, and there is Randy Moss. There's a flag down for the moment. It's a touchdown. Be happy. <laughs> let's see. If, let's see if we can see it right uh, here on the end. Well, it looks like Todd Stucy, the left mm -hmm. tackle, made a tackle. And you Look could, at that acceleration boom. But you could see Pryor actually yep. was had a beat on the ball and just misplayed it. 34 yard line, no score, seven minutes to go in the period. Pressure on Cunningham who throws and it's caught by Moss. 40 yard line. It's just not that horizontal range. No. And the screen is set up for Robert Smith. First down in the Green Bay territory. And he oh, comes back. Absolutely. Third and seven, and Leroy Hoard is the tailback. They take it to him. And then the pass is caught by Carter, who is dragged down. Oh. He's thrown three deep balls. He's thrown corner patterns right here. The ball's right on the money. It's tight coverage. You can see, I mean, he's moving this football team. First and 10 from the 20-yard line. Butler comes in on the blitz, and they pick him up. They double-team him, and the pass is caught by Carter, his second. Chris Carter does a real good job of getting separation. He's so, these guys are so dangerous. And Randall is throwing the ball with a real... they got two great offensive coordinators that they're playing for, and they're showing their abilities within their systems. Second down and nine. Cunningham throws. Caught at the 40-yard line. And that's... Randall hangs in. Throws. And it is caught. Reed spinning around. And a... This is what we call an underthrown go, because Newsom really has no idea where the ball is. Only the receiver does. You underthrow it. Receiver can adjust for it, and Newsom can. I was wondering going in for Jake Reed, 10-3, Vikes. And that's caught by Carter. Flag is throwing some more money in Pompano.